So, the BBC gave us a documentary last week called Whites v Blacks. How football changed a nation. About a testimonial game of football in the 1970s between an all-white team and an all-black team. It was a historic moment for black footballers, who undoubtedly played a huge role in the changing of race relations in this country. And who did the BBC decide would be a perfect presenter for this important documentary? Adrian Charles? Yeah, Adrian Charles. Adrian Childs. Adrian Childs, who said things like this. Well, it's almost heartwarming, but it would be a nicer story if they weren't calling you a wog in the first place. <laughs> no shit, Adrian. Adrian. Well, what was that you said about George Berry's afro? That hair arrangement is simply magnificent. It's almost like dreadlocks. No, it's not. It's an afro. And what kind of a way is this to start an interview with a group of Asian people about race relations? Before we get into yeah. cliches, it was tough here as an Asian yeah. family. I'm sure there challenges. Adrian. The only reason that I could see for Adrian Charles presenting this documentary was that he obviously fancied at least half of the football players involved in it. Look at those biceps there. There's Brenda. Look at that body shape. Look at the focus. Look at the sweat on his legs. He's beautiful. To be fair, the documentary did show that we've come a long way since the vile racism of the 1970s. But Adrian Charles presenting it just seemed to sum up this idea that's held by so many people that the job's done. Racism's over. Job done. The media as an industry so often fails to champion black talent. Why on earth would they choose the whitest guy since this guy to present this documentary? So what's it going to take? Les Ferdinand, one of the few black ex-players to make it to football's boardrooms, puts it best, I think. We can do as many of these documentaries as you like. You ain't changing what's in people's heads right now. Well, either Les Ferdinand or the Liverpool fans. <laughs> 